Welcome to a professional Terran versus Zerg match on the map Curious Minds. A rivalry that even the Hatfields and the McCoys might stop to admire. In the upper left, a blue Terran player with the bear portrait, as always, it is Clem. And the Zerg opponent in the bottom right, wielding the red drones, it is Rainer. Start things off right this evening, Clem and Rainer joining on this map where, for some reason, that still eludes me. The creep is just so vibrant. The lighting on this map is impressive. The, I don't know what the electric bill is that these cleaning bots, wherever they are. Ah, here's one. The cleaning bots, their electric bill must be through the roof to keep all the creep this well illuminated. Both players starting off with, you know, so far so typical kinds of builds. We've got the hatch, the gas, the pool. Clem built his barracks in his own base, which for some Terrans is quite a feat of strength, it feels. You know who you are. Yes, even you Makarax, defensive proxy players, that barracks is not in your own base. Do not lie to me. SCV goes down. Command center? Of course, it's a command center. Get eyes on the skies here. Overlord, the content we all came here to see. Rainer, why are you turning around? Don't you want to know that Clem's doing a completely normal build? Actually, reactor first. Okay, not completely normal, but pretty darn normal. No Reapers? Clem. I am denied my Clem Reaper this day. Very well. Fine. So be it. Rainer's got some Zerglings out on the map now. There is no Reaper though, so there's no threat really. All going to be uh, clear in the next few minutes what's going to happen. Rainer's taking a quick third base, which is, again, not too far out of the question. I assume these buildings are going to do their own little push-ups. Zergling gets into the base. Rainer did see the command center, saw the timing he knows. Pretty normal. Pretty normal stuff. A lot of marines being built. Armory? <clears throat> um... Ladies and gentlemen, that's not normal. An armory this quickly? Clem, are you doing a Hellbat push? Really? A Hellbat push in 2022? Haven't we figured all of this out by now? You make a Reaper into normal Hellions. Quick third CC. No. Going for stim with hellbats. Marines actually marching so well they got a little too close to the queens there. Just two? Just two hellbats? Just enough hellbats to make Rainer say, I'm sorry, are those hellbats? Drones are pulled off the line. Queens trying to handle it as best they can. The spread is pretty good, but the Marines are given chase. One goes down. Queen Regicide on the field. Two goes down. We have reached historical monarchy levels of queen deaths. 30 drones on the main hatchery. That is a bit oversaturated, which makes for a very happy Hellion group. Roaches are out now. They're going to clean all this up, but to the tune of how many drone losses? Four? Five drone losses? <clears throat> Okay, well, that really wasn't that bad for Rainer, actually. Only losing five drones, given how stacked up they were on the main base. I'm impressed. And Clem, <clears throat> not one, but two bunkers to fend off Rainer's roaches. I like it. The backup bunker. Indigos 
What if they get through the first bunker at the wall? Where am I supposed to put my marines? <laughs> you don't want to just leave your marines out high and dry in the terrible weather, do you? No, of course not. Why would I want to do that? I need a second bunker. I know I'm fixating, but it's kind of funny, isn't it? Normally, you know, one bunker I get totally fine. But Rainer's not pressing the issue, at least not yet, at least. It's just a handful of roaches. Well, I don't know, maybe. Those are big roaches. I don't, I don't think you could fit those in your hand. Those are some pretty massive bugs, actually. So behind this, let's talk about the game. Focus on the game, and it goes fine, fine. Third CC is landing for Mr. Clem, who's farewell second bunker. You were not needed, but you were appreciated nonetheless. Third hatch is here, double Evo chambers, and Gleal, Gleal, Glial, reconstitution, roach speed is on the way. Extra barracks coming up for Clem, who looks like he's prepping what is akin to a tank push. Where is Rainer going to put his fourth base, though? The creep is already doing pretty well on this side, if you wanted to take this base. Creep is not as far over here. Clem, expecting it to be this one. Wow, the timing on that, Clem. I'm impressed, actually. Queens making their way up here. Clem did see the queen, did not see the hatch, but you can probably suspect. Why would a queen be sauntering her way up here off of creep probably taking a fourth base so infestation pit coming up around the seven minute mark that that smells like a good makings of an early hive i do like it i like seeing an early hive a lot more roaches on the way rainer did get an overseer over here i don't know how much of the army he saw to see clem's mostly marine tank composition here oh get him get him get him ladies oh fine let him go he can live to tell the tale to the others Ooh, that is a quick hive 7 30 that's not just early that's not just greedy that's risky this is a lot of roaches with some ravagers but nothing else rainer doesn't have and it, there's one single zergling in here without speed. He doesn't even have zergling speed. You're going to have to try and push Clem back earlier away from your main bases because if the marine tank composition can get set up over here, you put a tank behind the rocks, put another one maybe over here, you can shell the fourth base, and just pure roaches are not that good. Terran bio is just too efficient. It's too deadly. You need other things in there. You need a lot of lings to try and get a surround. You need banes to make them, you know, have whatever kind of problems they have in their suits. I was going to say, you know, crap, but I don't know if I can say. Can I say crap? I don't know. Of course. Hydra. Hydra Den, also a good option, leads very well into Lurkers here. Roach Ravager, keeping an eye on this army. Glem is moving out. He wants the fourth hatch, it looks like. Rainer setting up a nice surround, a good flank here. A lot of Roaches, Biles going out on the tanks, but there is nowhere near enough Ravagers to make this work. Five tanks are still here. They're set up and they are shelling for their lives. Marines and Marauders going to be pretty well cleaned up, but all of the roaches are gone. Hive did finish up. There is a Viper on the way. Rainer really needs that Viper, though. And once that Viper gets out, he's going to have to get energy. So I don't expect to see a game-changing blinding cloud in the next 10 to 20 seconds here. A contaminate on the factory Rainer. That's just bad manners. Siege tank set up at the watchtower. Marines pushing forward. They're trading pretty well against the roaches. 2-2 is nowhere near done either. 
Oh, Clem. Are you just going to pull back? Okay. Rainer gets his fourth base, for now at least. Lurker Den, I like it. I like the choice. I needed it about a minute and a half ago, though. Clem scans for the fifth base, sees that hatch building. Hmm. There's not enough army here. I am a bit worried for Mr. Rainer. The siege tanks are set up in a nice little arc. They're not far enough forward though. Clem's just pushing the creep back for now. He's got a ghost academy coming up behind this. And Rainer's got roaches. The roach run by. Clem knows about it thanks to the sensor tower. And now they're gone. The roaches are gone because there was a siege tank set up. Beautiful. <laughs> it pays so well to just leave... You know, one tank at each base. A sensor tower, the turrets, it's all very good stuff. So each tank's inching ever closer, keeping the roaches at bay. The lurker dens finished, but there were no hydras on the field. Rainer's having to produce his hydras. Oh, I'm very nervous for the Zerg player here. Clem is on top of the fourth hatchet, is being hit by a single siege tank, and Rainer cannot push forward. Lurkers are on the way. Some of them, they're all right here, but are they going to be done in time? Drones pulled off the line. Viper looking pretty, not doing much else, unfortunately. The hatch is going to go down. Clem trying to get the surround the lurkers finish, but an immediate scan. Oh. Well, more lurkers are canceled. The Roach Ravager is evaporating, and lurkers by themselves are just not good, especially without their hive tech upgrades. Rainer, it just feels like was a little too greedy, and Clem comes in with the punish. Excellent game by both players. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you have a great day.